is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have some brand new wwe action figure news for you guys we have just pretty much ended up you know it's about a week or two ago now but san diego comic-con did pass us by and we got so many figures right i mean i think it was over a hundred brand new figures that we got to see in render form that we got to see final images of plenty of stuff coming soon uh we got some of those figures already in hand that we've reviewed and today we're going to be getting into some new stuff. I do have a couple shout outs to get through before we get into it, guys. But uh, we have some brand new stuff talking about those brand new action figures that we're going to be getting. So today we're going to be revealing a lot of accessories that are going to be coming with some of these upcoming WWE action figures that we saw at San Diego Comic Con. I know a lot of us were thinking, you know, what the hell's going on? Like they didn't have any accessories. Some guys have way more than others. And it was like, what the hell are they going to come with? Well, now we have some better ideas on what they're going to be having, what they're going to come with, and uh, what to expect from these figures when they do release, but I do want to give a huge shout out to not only the uh, you know the major wrestling figure podcast with Matt Cardona and Brian Myers, but I do also want to give a huge shout out to my man Rob for hooking us up with this news. Rob Schwartz, huge shout out to you bro, and then a huge shout out to DFreedom30 on Instagram, who is legitimately just so good and insightful when trying to find out figure news. I mean, this man is a magician. I don't know how he does it. He, he just he gets the inside knowledge and he finds it out and he reports it and I love him for it. So today, guys, we got a bunch of accessories to get through that are coming up with these new figures. So let's go ahead and dive into it. I think you guys are going to be pretty excited about this. So let's go ahead and get started with it. Let's start off with Angel Garza. You guys know we are getting an Elite Angel Garza. I can't remember if this is supposed to be Elite 82 Angel Garza or Elite 84 Angel Garza, but it looks like he is going to be coming with his pants. Now, I don't have any final images or anything like that to show you, but uh, we can, can, you know, we can look at the talent on TV, we can get images and pretty much kind of think about it in our heads about what we're going to be getting for the figures, and Angel Garza will come with his pants, and if this figure is going to come with the leg mold that it shows here in the render image, uh, I'm going to keep the pants on this guy because it, you can see that it gives him the tights mold where his thighs have the molded you know, tights over. It looks like he has tights on, but they're skin tone. So hopefully he doesn't have that James Ellsworth problem. We discussed this in a video earlier last week, and uh, hopefully that is not the case with this Angel Garza, but I'm imagining it will probably have some sort of pants like Kofi Kingston and Brock Lesnar have come with, you know, long cloth sweatpants or, or cloth pants, uh, track pants style, and maybe they'll Velcro down one complete side so that you can rip them completely off while he's in the middle of a match. That is what I would guess would be the case, so I guess we'll just have to see Hopefully it doesn't Velcro in the front, you know, like any normal pants would. It will just be a huge Velcro down the side, maybe even on both sides where he can just rip those hoes off. But we'll just have to see about that. The next figure, guys, is going to be Angelo Dawkins. Now, we discussed this in all of our videos that Angelo Dawkins literally didn't really have any accessories compared to Montez Ford, who had a ton of accessories. And apparently, Angelo Dawkins is going to come with a jersey or an entrance jersey, which is pretty cool. Um, I think that it'd be really cool to see it in cloth form. I don't really want to see it in rubber, but I'm sure it'll probably be one of those rubber shirts that we've seen in the past where it buckles on the sides. You guys know that we're not really big fans of those, but uh, it's better than than nothing, I guess. But uh, Angelo Dawkins is going to come with his jersey. Would prefer to see it in cloth, but I don't know if that's going to take place. Next up, guys, we have Volkov, and Volkov is going to come with his jacket. Now, this is very nice to see. Not only is Volkov coming with his jacket, but so is Brutus Beefcake. So Brutus Beefcake and Volkov are both going to come with their jackets. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to be rubber or it's going to be cloth. If I had to guess, I would guess that it's going to be cloth or uh, very similar to cloth. Maybe such as Dolph Ziggler's jacket that we saw with Elite 70. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura's Elite 63 jacket would uh, be another figure uh, that I would expect this to kind of mimic with its jacket. Like, it's going to be a nice jacket uh, with some nice cloth going on. Think of, like, Greg the Hammer Valentine and some of these other figures that have the entrance robes. I feel like we have gotten more cloth accessories than not, so hopefully that will continue with the bulk off and the beefcake. And those will definitely be nice to have in the collection there with the cloth goods because everybody knows cloth is better than rubber and there's no uh, there's no debating it. There's no debating it at you know whatsoever. So that is Beefcake and Volkoff. We're moving forward, guys. We have Hogan, and this is the Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan that you guys know will be coming up in an Ultimate Edition series featuring The Fiend as well. And he is not only going to come with whatever we saw at San Diego Comic-Con, but he's also going to be including his weight belt and his NWO shirt, which I also will 
pretty much guarantee that it will be cloth. Let's hope to Christ that that is a cloth NWO shirt, and that will be very, very beautiful to see. So Hulk Hogan not only comes with all these different interchangeable parts and everything with this Ultimate Edition, he's also going to have a weight belt and NWO shirt, and I'm pretty sure that we did discuss that when we talked about the Comic-Con reveals and everything like that. We talked about how this figure will probably also feature the weight belt and the NWO shirt on top of all the other accessories that he gets. So this is a really big one. I know a lot of people were hoping and praying that this would come with that, and it is going to. So Hulk Hogan will look really good with his weight belt and NWO shirt. I don't think that it was a possibility to get this without it. I think that would be excited to finally get that. Next up, guys, is going to be X-Pac. Now, X-Pac is a part of the Fan Central Takeover Wave, and uh, you guys know that the NWO version of X-Pac did win the, win the polling, and it looks like his accessory is going to be none other than an, an NWO shirt, which I thought would be the case. We saw this with the flashback Walmart exclusive X-Pac, and uh, he did. It was a rubber shirt, though. It was like, you know, the, the Ryback tank top mold, the rubber piece. That doesn't hinder articulation, but I think a lot of people would rather have a cloth shirt. So hopefully X-Pac will feature a cloth shirt for his... Uh, for his figure. They may even put the same shirt that they put in the Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan with the X-Pac, but we'll just have to see about that. That is the Fan Central Takeover X-Pac figure. Next up is going to be Jerry Lawler. Now, this Jerry Lawler, not too hyped on it, but he is going to come with his cape. I am guaranteeing that it'll be much like we saw with the Elite 34 Wade Barrett, what, uh, much like we saw with, you know, the Trash Corbin that is coming up, much like we're, we've seen with the Hall of Fame Booker T figure with the, with the you know, the rubber capes that are kind of stiffy-liffy. I'm guaranteeing that'll probably be the same case with this Jerry Lawler figure, so he is going to come with his cape. Next up is going to be Ricky Steamboat in the Fan Central Takeover line, and he is going to come with his gi. So his gi is pretty much like his entrance robe like you guys have seen in the past. I think his Walmart flashback figure came with the same gi, if I'm not mistaken. So Ricky the Dragon Steamboat will come with his gi. That's a nice cloth accessory that can go with other figures in our collection, so that's pretty cool there with Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Next up is going to be Macho Man. Now Macho Man, I think this is going to be his Ultimate Edition figure, and much like I said, I figured, you know, I, I wasn't too hyped on this Ultimate Edition figure when it was first revealed. I thought that, you know, it's kind of a weaker release, not too big on the accessories, not too big on the attire for this Macho Man. I think that Macho Man is great for an Ultimate Edition figure, you know. I'm, I'm not too hyped on it, but I still can see why he would get his own Ultimate Edition. I love Macho Man, but... Um, I feel like we've gotten quite a bit of those, but he does have his jacket, which I think is going to be a pretty big deal. I'm sure it'll be really, really nice, really high quality is what they're focusing on here. I'm not sure if it's going to be, you know, like we've seen with every other Ultimate Edition. Is it going to be interchangeable shoulders with an interchangeable, like, you know, vest style deal for the jacket? Like, you guys know what I'm talking about, like we've seen with the Shinsuke and the Bret Hart and the Ronda Rousey and all of those different things. Or will it be like Ultimate Warriors Ultimate Edition, where it comes with a nice cloth robe, cloth jacket deal, where you can put it over the figure. I guess we'll just have to see about that, but Macho Man is the next one. Next up, guys, we have Rob Gronkowski. Now, I don't remember what he was wearing at WrestleMania as the host, but I will bring up some images and stuff like that that we have seen before, and I will pull that up so you guys can get an idea of the Rob Gronkowski. Not looking forward to this figure. I kind of want to put him on MDT just to get destroyed, just, you know, just, just straight up get get macked on, maybe book him in a match with gender football and see what he can get going right there. Uh, maybe Kevin Owens can destroy him in an Extreme Rules match or something like that for the Extreme Championship, but I don't even want to give him the opportunity there, but Gronk in his jacket will be cool. Uh, maybe it'll be a cloth. Maybe we could use it for a different figure, so that'll be nice to see. Next up is going to be Christian in his Fan Central Takeover, and I mean, this one just makes me sick. The fact we're not getting the WrestleMania 20 man just, just upsets me, man. Makes me want to go cry in a hole and, and drown. But Christian in the Hit the Switch shirt, at least we're getting a cloth Hit the Switch. Uh, well, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that we're getting a cloth hit the switch shirt hopefully it will come with a cloth sleeveless hit the switch shirt with our fan central takeover christian figure and he does come with the world heavyweight championship and stuff like that but as you guys know this is a re-release of the christian elite we got with the best of pay-per-view so it is kind of upsetting that uh, we did not get the wrestlemania 20 with the track suit that would have been absolutely fantastic but we are getting the hit the switch shirt with our christian so i guess that's okay we got the world heavyweight championship still upset about that fan boat though still upset not gonna get over it right now Pretty upsetting. Next up, guys, is another Fan Central Takeover figure. We have Adam Cole, and he is going to come with his t-shirt. Now, I don't know what t-shirt it's going to be. Um, thinking about all the different attires and stuff from around this time, I'm not exactly sure what it's going to be. It's going to be another Undisputed Era t-shirt. We have seen multiple already. I think we've seen two or three different Undisputed Era t-shirts in cloth form already. So, uh, we will get another 
one here with Adam Cole. And hopefully it's a good t-shirt. I, I don't know. I know their, their t-shirt designs have changed a little bit. It's going to be black and yellow with the Undisputed Era logo. I know that for sure. And so that will be pretty nice to see with our Adam Cole. If you're not including the rubber accessories, I think this will be our third cloth Undisputed Era t-shirt for our Adam Cole figure. So that would be pretty cool there. And next up, guys, we have... Piper and Mr. T. Roddy Piper and Mr. T in their boxing robes with the Elite 2-pack. You guys know these guys are going to come in an Elite 2-pack. Now, this is pretty cool. I think this is really sick that they're going to come with their robes. Hopefully, they're nice detailed and stuff. I'm sure they'll be nice and cloth. And especially when you're getting a 2-pack of Mr. T and Roddy Piper, if they both have bo both of their cloth boxing robes, that makes the price point of these guys, uh, uh, you know, that's fair. That's fair of a price point to get two Elites. Um, uh, Mr. T, that if you, you know, you missed the Comic-Con exclusive, a Roddy Piper we haven't seen in a while. It is sort of a niche, you know, exact moment, but it is still really cool because you get the nice cloth accessories, and when those are coming in like that. But not only are Roddy Piper and Mr. T getting their boxing robes, um, the last figure on the set, guys, is going to be John Morrison, and he is going to come with his coat and sunglasses. Now, I'm pretty sure this is talking about his newest Elite because we've already seen mock images of the Survivor Series Elite Walmart exclusive. I think it's Walmart exclusive. It may not be. The Survivor Series Elite John Morrison, we've already seen that in package uh, promo shots, so that means he's not going to be coming with a rope or anything. He's just going to come with the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. And then uh, this is obviously going to be talking about his brand new figure that is coming up in the main Elite line that is going to be his current figure, his 2020 figure, and it's going to come with his coat and sunglasses. So hopefully the coat quality will be the same as his Elite Four figure, and it will be a very, very nice cloth fur coat that will look absolutely beautiful on many different figures and I'm guessing it's going to be like a darker black color or a grayish color and that will be really really sick to see so I am expecting very big things out of this John Morrison and I'm very freaking hyped for that John Morrison Elite but that is our complete list that is the complete list I have for you guys so far if we have any more accessories you know announced or any more WWE action figure news for you guys to talk about I will definitely put it up to you guys but that is going to do it for now for the uh, the news that I have for you guys for accessories and stuff of that nature. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know what down below what other figures you're hyped for, what other accessories you would like to see from other figures. But that is going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. A huge shout out to DFreedom30, the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast, and Rob Schwartz for the information on this stuff. Overall, uh, pretty hyped on it. You know, um, it's not every single figure. I, I think it would have been cool to see every single figure or something like that but this is the ones we have info on so far so i guess we'll just have to see what the rest get but thank you guys for watching follow me on instagram and twitter and at my damn toys and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you <laughs>